guys welcome back okay so today I decided I wanted to play around in one of my new menagerie cosmetics palettes okay during their last restock I did go ahead jump in there grab a few of their palettes the ones I was able to get before it got snatched out of my cart <laughs> But yeah, I was able to go ahead and grab a few of their palettes, three to be exact. Um, which ones did I get? I got the Whale Song, the beautiful blue one that I've been dying to pick up for the longest. So I did grab this one. I also grabbed the Feral. I believe that's how you say it. Feral. Very, very cute. And this is the color story for this one really really pretty and then lastly i was able to snag one of annette's collab palettes so this is the serenity absolutely gorgeous look at that i love butterflies you guys i actually have butterflies tattooed on my body if you haven't already seen them <laughs> yes i do have them tattooed sporadically on my body but this is Annette's palette I know most of you guys if not all of you have probably already seen this a bazillion times but I am finally getting to use this today for the first time and I was really excited because I've never tried menagerie so I felt like this was the perfect opportunity I wanted to try out Annette's palette I was able to get one and so here we are so this is the beautiful color story here as you can see the greens the purples the pinks the blues all of my favorite shades in one palette now what i will say just first impression using this palette today the mattes i really really like the matte formula so far i love the pigmentation and the blendability of them just very easy to work with i really enjoyed using them for the shimmers, I feel like they are very nicely pigmented, beautiful as well. They are a bit more textured than I expected um, going in. You know, I thought they would be a little bit more smooth and satiny, but they are a bit more textured. But with the pigmentation, it's beautiful. So for me, since I wasn't able to use my fingers to apply these shimmers today because I have on these long nails, <laughs> um, I did use a brush. I did go in with a little bit of NYX Glitter Primer, you know, to get them to lay down and make sure I didn't have a lot of fallout all over my face because they are a little bit more textured, as I said. So, But the pigmentation color is just gorgeous now this color story i really really like very very pretty very beautiful and of course when approaching this palette i wanted to use every single color on my eye today but <laughs> i did go ahead and pass on the purple i didn't use the purple today but i did kind of go in with some of the other shades that i really wanted to play with so you guys have to excuse my jaja gabor lashes Sometimes I like to play with the bigger, more bold, crazy lashes, and today was one of those days, okay? So this is what we have. This is the eye look. First impression thoughts on the palette. On the Menagerie formula for this palette, I really enjoyed it. I think it was nice, and like I said, have no complaints. So yeah, that is that. I do, Oh, you know what? I still have swatches on my arm. <laughs> I swatched it out, you know, because I wanted to check it out, see what was happening with these shades on my skin tone. So, so these are the swatches of this whole palette. And as you can see, very, very pretty, nicely pigmented. The formula for the mattes is a formula that I actually really like to work with because I like to use so many different colors. I like to be able to blend them together and worked out just fine now do I feel like my eyelids are probably going to be a little bit stained with the blues and the greens and all that good stuff after I take this off yes it probably will because <laughs> my fingers are stained but you know I know I can go ahead and just use some remover or micellar water whatever the case to get it off I've used very pigmented shadows on my eyes before and I'm able to get it off even when it stains so not a big deal so that's just my first impression thoughts a little chit chat a little letting you know what i think about this palette and this formula if you want to see how i created this look today <laughs> then just stay tuned because it's coming up next 
Okay, you guys, so I'm starting out using my P. Louise base today. I have been using my Juvia's Place eyeshadow base, but I kind of got tired of trying to remember to shake it up before using it, so I'm back to my P. Louise for now. So this is the beautiful Serenity palette. These are the colors in here. So I did start out with the purple. That's so funny. I said I didn't use the purple today when that's the first shade that I used. <laughs> so anywho, yeah, I started out with the purple in the outer corner. And as you can see, I'm just kind of slowly building that up and just blowing that out with a medium sized fluffy brush. And right now I'm really just trying to get a feel for how these shadows perform, how the colors pop and how they're gonna blend. And just from using it here, I can tell that I'm really, really gonna like how they blend out. So I had no worries for this purple, very pretty, very vibrant. And, you know, I'm just kind of winging it, you guys. That's typically what I do when I start an eyeshadow look. So next I'm going into the blue. This blue is so pretty, very, very gorgeous shade of blue. And it is nicely pigmented as well. I'm just kind of tapping it on right next to that purple. Once again, trying to get a feel for, you know, how the shadow is going to perform very very vibrant as you can see here when i was tapping it down that color just immediate boom <laughs> so i'm taking a clean brush now and just kind of blending out the edge of that blue as well as the edge of that purple just so it's not such a harsh stop on my lid next i'm going into this gorgeous bright green shade and this shadow is very very surprising to me because sometimes colors like this can come off like ashy or dusty on my skin tone you know it's a really really light shade of green but this one showed up very very nicely um i don't even know how to describe this green because it's not like neon it's not really pastel to me it's just really really gorgeous lighter shade of green so i'm just gently building that one up as well blending that into that blue making sure that I get a nice seamless blend between those three colors. And as you can see, the more that I tap on, that's the more that it shows. It doesn't just kind of disappear, you know what I mean? So now I'm just going in with a wet wipe and just carving out a bit of a cut crease on my lid. I didn't want to place the shimmers down on top of the color because I knew I wanted to start out with the orange. So that's why I'm trying to clean off some of this green and blue a bit before I start with my shimmers. So before I place them down, I did go in with my NYX Glitter Primer. Like I said, I found that the shimmers were a little bit more textured um, than I had originally thought. And since I wasn't able to just glide it on with my finger, I am using a brush and so I'm just kind of tapping it on top of that glitter primer and making sure that my cut crease is nice and clean or as clean as it can be using this brush. So just building up that orange. Oh my gosh, so, so gorgeous. Initially, I was like, eh, I don't know if this is gonna look right, but I really, really loved the end result. So next to that, I'm going in with the green shimmer shade very very pretty i think the green is one of my favorites i like the orange too but i think the green shimmer is one of my favorites next to that i'm going in with the blue and as you can see here even though you know all the colors are being placed right next to each other and kind of blended in blending them in with each other you can still see all three colors clearly on the lid very very nice i really really like that the blue, I wasn't sure if that was gonna pop, you know, right next to that purple corner, but it did. You can actually see it really nicely and went down very smooth and pigmented. So this is what the look is looking like so far, as you can see, shimmers nice and vibrant and the mattes blended just fine. So I finished up my complexion, as you guys can see, added my humongous lashes, and I decided to go in with a light, kind of bright green, um, using one of my Beauty Creations 
eyeliner pencils for my lower lash line. Sometimes when I have a super bold lid, I kind of like to just keep my lower lash line a little simple. So that's what I did today. Going in with my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara. You guys, I forgot how amazing this mascara is. <laughs> it's so bomb. And I'm setting everything in place with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. Still checking it out, still loving it. So yeah, this is the look for today, you guys. Um, I like it, I like it a lot. <laughs> it's a little aggressive, but I think it did well to showcase what this palette can do. And I really, really had a good time using it. So really like this palette, like the formula so far, and hope you guys liked it as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles.